Hello, this is Mike from Dimensional Walking. Today we're going to do a, uh, I'm going to do a video and we're going to call this one Frank the Man Between the Dimensions. Okay. So back, God, year, several years ago at my um, forum that I was like the uh, little bit of a leader of, but it was a group session uh, in uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico. I had a guy, had a guy come, and his name was Frank Wolak. Okay, Frank Wolak. And he was a, a very diverse guy. And I'll tell you a few highlights of his career because I, I want you to feel this guy a little bit. And so he was a second lieutenant in the U.S. Uh, engineering. Um, he was a West Point graduate. He was a Master of Science, nuclear engineer from MIT, and he oversaw the construction of a nuclear reactor in Alaska. But then over the last 30 years, he has studied and researched the positive side of life and all of its possibilities, which is really crazy. I mean, he was a, had a very structured life. Uh, in the military, in MIT, etc., and now he spends 30 years researching the positive side of life and its possibilities. Okay, so I was thrilled to get this guy to come and speak in front of my group, our group. Okay, so Frank discussed the concepts that affect our personal life and all the challenges and the intense positive energy of the universe and its role in granting answers to what we desire, okay? So Frank walked us through this, uh, this 24,500-year cycle and, uh, and presented the cycle, presented this as the movement between the third and the fourth dimension. So let's let's talk about this 24,500 year cycle. So this number, that number is associated with the precession of the equinoxes, an astronomical phenomena where the Earth's axis slowly changes its orientation over thousands of years. Some interpret this as a cycle of spiritual or cultural significance. The movement, and again, it's kind of the movement between the third and the fourth dimension. Of course, this is a pretty complex concept. In traditional uh, physicists, physicists say that we experience three spatial dimensions. The concept of a fourth dimension is often explored in mathematics and theoretical physics. Its, its physical interpretation is still a subject of debate. In a metaphysical or spiritual context, it often is referred to a higher place of existence or consciousness. Okay, so I just want to give you a little bit of a background as we, we move on with Frank here. So... Anyways, so Frank, Frank is, you know, is a, is a true seeker. He, he believes that if you're a seeker, you have the ability to go out and find this movement between the third and the fourth dimension. So, so you, he's saying you should take advantage of this opportunity that the universe will offer. You can move on to the next dimension. You can move from the third to the fourth. So Frank spoke with great knowledge about how we all have free will, how we obtain it, and how we need to keep it. So free will is absolutely important. The theme I enjoyed most was that we all are God. Okay? We are, we are a creator, and you are a God. Okay, I believe the same thing Frank does. Love of everything makes us, as I say, big, and fear is humanity's biggest issue. Okay, fear is the biggest issue, and fear makes us small. 
as I, I have said this over and over again. And, and, you know, I was saying it for years and I forgot where the heck I had realized it, how important this whole fear thing was. Okay. And then I went back through some of my notes and I found out where it was and it was from Frank. Okay. And boy, I'm happy Frank came along and taught me that. Okay. So being fearless makes you really big. Me and being fearful makes you very small, okay? Those are some amazing, powerful concepts. Okay, we as humans have been in a brainwash mode since we were babies. We have been fed fear to keep us in a subpotential role here on earth, okay? Listen to that, it's very, very important, okay? And this is from Frank. And I've been believing this since I talked to Frank on that one fateful day um, several years ago, quite a few years by now, and today, from today. So Frank spent a good portion of the discussion of his presentation on the role of right and left brains. So Frank is saying, as we shift to the next year or so, as we shift into the future, we we or some of us will start shifting more into the right brain, okay? Which he, he calls God consciousness. The shift to the fourth dimension will be a era of no space and time, only energy. Before Frank left, he left us, he made us or actually asked us to, to do this an, an exercise. And the exercise was, from our hearts, list the things that we desire. Um, give it to, and then make this list on a piece of paper and then give it to the infinite. Put the list in a safe place and forget about it. Forget about the list. Forget about what you asked for. Just put it in a safe place. And he said, wonderful things will happen. And I've done this. I actually did this. I put it away for quite a few years. And, and these were not like, I want a million dollars or I want to marry a movie star or anything like that. These were reasonable stuff. Reasonable stuff that as a, as a, as a God creator, I could manifest. And sure enough, and I'm not going to tell you my, what mine were, okay? I think that's part of it is, is between you and the infinite. They came true. It was amazing. Okay, it was truly amazing. You and when you get the list out of the safe place, when you get the list out of a safe place, you will see the infinite spirit has lived up to the agreement. And it did. And for me, it absolutely did. When you come to hang here on earth, one, the agreement, and again, when you came to this earth, you also made an agreement, and the infinite world lived up to the agreement, whatever that is, okay? One more thing. Frank said, and I think it's absolutely critical, don't reject anything that is put in front of you. Again, I'll repeat that. Don't reject anything that is put in front of you, okay? So, lastly, I want to say this. Bye, Frank. I'll see you in the fourth dimension. So Frank, Frank left the third dimension on December 15th, 2019. Anyways, with all that said, we'll see you next time.